Alright, hey guys, and welcome to a new game, Game Development Di Tycoon, or Dev Tycoon, however you want to say it. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that intro. It took a lot of work to uh, get that all worked out and get it done for you guys, but uh, I feel really happy with it, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and kick this game off. Um, I'm not really... I'm not really sure what to expect uh, fully, except for developing games. So that's all I can really say about this. I don't know why it's not letting me type right now. It doesn't want me to. Oh, apparently I have to do that. All right. Uh, all right. Our company name. I don't know what we're gonna be. Let's be a. Uh... Hmm. See, this is an important choice in life. Let's uh, let's think about that later. Our uh, player name is gonna be um, we're gonna be. We're gonna no no. I was gonna go with Kingfish, but uh, that, that's not a good name. We will be uh, comma. Uh, comma. Q no, comma. IOP. That's us. And our company name, I feel like actually, I actually feel like comma IOP is gonna throw me off because it'll be like saying like, hey comma IOP, and I'll be like, I don't understand what it's trying to say right now because I'll forget that that's my name. So let's just go with um, let's go with uh, uh, Der Derek, uh, um, Nick. Nicholson. Alright, that's us, Derek Nicholson. And our company name is the, um, we're gonna be, uh, Smelly, uh, Socks. Oh, wait, we need it, we need it to match our name. Smelly. Socks. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's uh. Let's just change that a little bit. Socks. Actually, did not think about that until I looked and saw how that was going. Oh, we got some uh different styles here. Oh. Well, let's go with that one. And uh, Nicholson is a very uh, formal gentle gentleman. So we're going to go with that sweater, vest, and coat, or whatever you want to call it. And the, uh, let's just go with the normal looking, like, you can't even see his face. That's not cool. I think he has paper taped to his computer. It's not even, like, actually functioning. That guy's pretty cool looking. We can, let's, let's go with that. No. Let's go with that guy. Or that guy. Let's go with this guy. Alright. We're off. Um. I don't know what to do. Oh, develop new game. Let's go with that. Tutorial. Before development can begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your, ga give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game should use. Alright. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you'll be able to unlock new options. Okay. Game one. Alright, so this is going to be... Um, the, the, the Smelly Socks first game is going to be... Um, uh, frog... Space... Ninja... Leap. That's... Oh... Leap. That's our first game, Frog Space Ninja Leap. The uh, topic is um, it's a Wild West game. Uh, that's a it's 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 a simulation. Uh, and it's gonna be on the uh, it's gonna be on the G64. So I hope you guys um, I hope you guys pick up my my new game. It's gonna be pretty cool. Oh, we got text-based game or 2D. It's actually text-based, so. There's not really much of uh there's not much of space ninja leaping or frogs in that game. 
Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate. Okay. Think about what areas are important for your game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description of the different areas, please refer to the help menu. We won't be doing that. Okay, so my Wild West simulation, Frog Space Ninja Leap. Um, well, the story is really in depth, so that's up there. The gameplay isn't very good, and the engine is really messed up. So yeah, let's go. That I I feel like that's gonna be a great game right there. We're working on the engine now. We're working on the gameplay. Oh, game development has now started. That's good. While developing your game, you you will generate game points, which you can see building, bubbling up, not building up, bubbling up. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the greater the game will be. Okay. I th I like how the only thing I say is okay. Like, it's not, it, they should just change it from alright and got it, like to set random things. From time to time, there will also be bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Bugs should be fixed before the game is released to increase development and increase development time and cost. Alright. Well, so far this game has uh, one, one bug. <laughs> Alright. Uh, development stage 2. The, the artificial intelligence, the level design, and dialogues. Well, since it's text-based, that dialogue's got to be up there. The level design is uh, pretty poor because it's only, it's only a text-based game. But the artificial intelligence is pretty good up there. So that's good. I feel like this is gonna be a this is gonna be my hit game right here. We we only have two bugs, so we're doing pretty great. During development, you can also select additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your options will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but it also increases its cost. You will also see the graphic type you selected when you defined when you defined the game I don't okay this is just to remind you of your choice you cannot change the type of graphics in game oh darn well I, that's good because it, it has to be text based I have to have that sound that sounds really good for a text based game and so are the graphics the world design isn't very good though because because it's text based these are kind of obvious choices here I'm really uh I'm really killing it in the research category. Oh, it's done. Your the development of your first game is now complete. You can press the finish button to publish your game, but you shouldn't you should only do that once you fix the majority of bugs. Okay. Well, there's 5, so that's pretty easy. Releasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your I almost read severely. Severely affect your rating, so you should only ever consider that if you need the cash and you cannot afford to wait okay okay I pressed okay hello alright there we are the bugs are going away one by one alright so let's finish up that game got those bugs gone the development of your game is now finished while developing games, you gain experience and improve your skills. While when development is completed, you will be presented with a summary of the experience gained. Okay, experience gained. It's a new topic and a new combo. The engine kind of sucks. The gameplay is alright. The story and quests are pretty good. The dialogues are pretty good. Level design sucks. The artificial intelligence is alright. The world design sucks. The graphics are outstanding. The sound is outstanding. Derek Nicholson rocks in a whopping plus 92 on that one. Let's release that game out into the public. You know that's going to attract sales worldwide. Your game is now complete and will be handed off to publishing. We should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. Alright. I feel like that was a great, a great game right there. Um, I don't know why I need to click OK like 20 times before. Alright, there we go. Develop new game, game history, research. I want to see the reviews of the one I just made. Is what I oh, the first reviews for our newly released game Frog Space Ninja Leap came in. Okay. Uh, what is happening? One. 
Still have nightmares, Star Games. Oh, okay, this is what the this is what they rate and what they say. Really bad. Oh, informed gamer, you're not very well informed then. Oh, jeez, come on, game hero. You can give me better than that. Not, not worth a stick. Oh, come on, guys, that's just harsh. You don't gotta be so harsh about it. At least I made a game. Come on. After publishing a game, you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate a game report. Game reports are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insights into what works and what doesn't work when developing a game. Okay. To generate a game report, close this message and click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Okay. Okay. Let's bring up that game report. So, um... It costs a lot of money to make that. Whoa, I've gone through three months already just making that? That's no good. It has zero fans and sales. That's no good. Select. Uh, Smelly Socks, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game, Frog Space Ninja Leap. The game got generally low scores from reviewers, but with a bit of experience, we are sure that we will see a we will see better games from Smelly Socks in the future. Okay. Well, thanks for that, guys. I mean, at least at least they gave some some good insight. Sold 1,228 units in the first week. That's pretty good. For uh, for the reviews I got, I'd say that's a pretty good amount. Now that your game is on sale, you will receive the income for the game every week. You can see how well your game is doing by locking by looking at the sales graph in the top right of the screen. All right, I don't see it. Oh, okay, this right here. All right, our post-release analysis of Frog Space Ninja Leap is complete, and we got our following results: one, Wild West and simulation is a terrible combination; <laughs> two, artificial intelligence seems to be very important for this type of game. Well, I don't know if they're talking about the type of Wild West or simulation, but uh, apparently that's a terrible combination. I don't know. It might be pretty good. Uh, game reports are a great way to gain research points and new insights. It pays off to generate a report for each for each game you release. Now that you've completed your first game report, it's a good idea to look at the research menu. To open the research menu, close this message and click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Okay. Research. Research is important to un. I feel like I'm just reading like this whole entire time. Research is important to unlock new options and make better games. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. Okay. Hint. Try to develop games with with different topic and genre combinations for a slight research boost. Okay. Ooh. What do you want to research? New topic. Custom game engine. Oh, custom game engine. Custom, custom game engine, new topic. I guess that's my only, my only choice. Movies, martial arts, government, and life. Let's go with martial arts right about there. Now let's do the. All right, we can't start. That that was fantastic. That's that's fantastic right there. We are doing. It's it's not getting very many sales, but that's okay. I don't I don't. It's my first game. It's all right. You have successfully researched a new topic, martial arts. Okay. All right, we're gonna we're gonna save and uh, we're gonna resume this game uh, a little bit later. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. I had a lot of fun playing this game, and I feel like it's gonna be great and will be completely awesome and a lot of fun in the future. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, have a swell day.